entrepreneur. I own my own entertainment company. Well, not really. I own a list. A list of clubs I can maybe get you into for $15. Teaching is not about showing people what they need to know. It's about showing people how much you already know. The title of this video is written correctly. We are going to be looking at the rise and the unfortunate downfall of the professor himself, Mike Tornabeni, or better known as Don Mazzetti. You wanna dance with Don Mazzetti, motherfucker? The man has had an extremely long YouTube career lasting over a decade on the platform and he has amassed over 500 million views on all of his videos. My name is Max and welcome to my YouTube channel. This actually used to be a vlog channel between me and my best friend Omar when we were back in college. As I'm starting to make YouTube videos again, it would just absolutely mean the world to me if you could hit that sub button. I see a lot of girl YouTubers do their makeup while doing these documentary style videos. Unfortunately for you guys, I don't use makeup, and even if I did, it still wouldn't help me pull any girls on Tinder, so I'm gonna try something different. And for those of you wondering why at the bottom of the frame I have this little, you know, little yoga weight here, I am planning on curling this the entire time until my arm falls off. What would Domizetti like more other than someone doing curls? He's the arm man himself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> if you might be wondering why I'm not staring directly at the camera at some points, I might be staring to the right somewhat. Like a true gym bro, I'm actually staring at a mirror behind the camera. It is definitely not a script or anything. <laughs> Who needs those? Clearly me. Spread out over his three YouTube channels, two of which he sparingly posts to, and one of them being totally forgotten about, Mike Tornabeni has over 3 million combined YouTube subscribers. His most active channel by far is actually Bro Science Life, in which you'd probably be lucky to see him post there once a month. I'm just thinking to myself, where should we start other than the beginning? Let's go back to the year 2011. A young Mike Tornabeni was fresh out of college and had started posting comedy skits written by himself and his best friend, Guillaume. Well, Mike and I grew up together in New Jersey. We've been, you know, good friends since we were in second grade. And we started Mike and Guion, uh, I believe, senior year of, of college. We never thought of YouTube or the internet as like a, as a place we could actually have a, you know, a living, a career. After attempting and writing many different sketch ideas, the duo thought of a character to portray a middle-aged, dumb Italian man struggling to cook. And if you're catching on to this, this is the birth of the Don Mazzetti character. What's even more funny is that Guion was was originally set to play the character, but they both chose to have Mike play him instead. Season long commitment. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he's I also good. already committed to a mental yeah. hospital. That, my friends, is equally just as good of his casting choice as like Chris Evans as Captain America or Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Let's be real here. Looking at Guion, we all know he could have never played this dumb Italian Jack D-bag college partier that Mike plays so freaking well. You could literally believe that that was Mike in college. Their first sketch was based around a UPS bomb scare, but it wouldn't be until their second sketch that they would see massive views on a video. This would actually be the Don Mazzetti versus Four Loco video in which they purposely made fun of people getting completely wasted off of Four Locos. And trust me, my history with Four Loco isn't any better. That was the first time I puked as a teenager. I puked all over myself in my own bed that I, that I grew up in. That video actually received a lot of extra attention as it was during the whole time that 4 Loco was getting a lot of press and almost got banned, if you guys remember that. It was at that point that both Mike and Guion both knew that the Dom Mazzetti character was their golden ticket to YouTube fame. From January 2011 to June 2013, there were 67 Dom Mazzetti versus videos posted, which helped the channel reach over 370,000 subs and 65 million views. Now you may be asking yourself, where did bro science come from? As Dom Mazzetti versus was the clear focus of Mike and Guion at this time. I want to preface this with the fact that Mike has always been a huge fan of the gym. I mean, just look at the guy. He's freaking huge and can literally knock out that little scrub Bradley Martin any day of the week. American ninja, the belt, hence the belt. Show me the warrior then. All right, right here, you asked for it. Show me. Oh, 
Watch it. Yo, yo. Before YouTube was a thing for Mike, he actually pursued getting his personal trainer certification as a way to save up for a place for him and Gion in New York City. Pretty much just so they could record videos there. And it wasn't until May 1st, 2012, that the idea of Bro Science was born. A video was posted on their channel, Dom Mazzetti vs. Gym Buddies, and it basically opened the entire door for Dom to be led into the fitness industry on YouTube. Open the lancer, we're hitting the gym, dog. Lifting partners is, is a really, it's a really strong bond between two a usually sexy dudes. It's like a marriage of muscle, sacred matrimony of mass. At that time in 2012 though, the fitness industry on YouTube wasn't that big. Guys like Bradley Martin didn't even start their channel until 2014. Mike and Gion were literally one of the trailblazers in the fitness industry on YouTube. However, Mike used his Dom Mazzetti character to combine fitness and comedy, which allowed him to retain his original Dom Mazzetti YouTube channel base, but also grow a fitness industry community of followers to his new channel, Bro Science Life. Dom's literal first video on this channel is the intro and it's called What is Bro Science? You learn that this channel will carry on the same comedic nature of the original Dom Mazzetti videos, but these will revolve around fitness and lifting. Every jack dude in the gym is a gold mine of unfounded tips on how to get huge. It's passed down from generation to generation of gym buddies. My bro told me you should see him do these fucking jack. And I told my bro and then he's gonna tell his bro or his protege, French for protege, which is a type of muscle car. Each dude adds his two cents. By the end of it, it's worth its weight in gold, which is how the original gold gym was formed, which is located on the sun, AKA Muscle Beach. This channel is by far Mike and Gion's most sub to, which is almost at 2.5 million subscribers. And honestly, it's his most actively posted to in which his last video was posted about a month ago. I also do have to mention that he did start a personal Mike Tornabeni channel around the end of 2015, which focused on showing fans what he is really like in real person. That's gonna come in handy down the road. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, vlog channel. Which is kind of just wild to me because he plays Dom so well like how isn't he Dom in real life like dude like that, that's him right? Well no it isn't because I've seen all of Mike Tornamenti's videos on his personal channel and he is just an average everyday regular guy from the NYC area and he's he's honestly freaking awesome outside of his character. So leading up to the time that he created his personal channel he has really only portrayed himself as Dom Mazzetti ever on YouTube. So he's never shown like shown his personal self. This at times would honestly lead Mike to having some internal like who am I issues, which totally makes sense. <laughs> Dom's still in there somewhere. Yeah, I know. I know, man. Sometimes you can't switch it off, right? Can't put the toothpaste back in a tube. Mike even once said on an early interview, it's weird seeing yourself not being yourself on the internet and people knowing you for it if you follow me. There starts to be a strange alter ego slash split personality dynamic. I'm always Mike, but sometimes I just feel like I'm going to snap into Dom. It gets even weirder when the character you play and are known as is the creation of two people. You could easily tell that there's gotta be some times that Mike is just so fed up with the character, especially because he's been playing him for over 10 years. Although I grew up loving his Dom Azzetti and Bro Science Life videos, as of late, I've grown to really like his personal videos the best as he is truly an inspiration for me. For your life. I'm gonna relate this to what got me here in the first place. People sometimes ask me, uh, what's, your, what's your best advice for someone who wants to make YouTube videos or be successful or uh, be in entertainment, whatever? How did you get to where you are? The one thing I tell people is start early. You have to just start. And that's how I got into making videos and comedy uh, with Gion is as soon as we went to college, we knew what we wanted to do. We wanted to write comedy. We had a goal and we just started. We didn't go, uh, what, you know, what if I this? No, we just did it. I mean, let's be real here. As a Jersey guy myself, I will look up to another tri-state area guy who made a huge online, moved to LA, and just lived that influencer rock star lifestyle. So his personal Mike Tornabeni channel has grossed over 370,000 subscribers. His latest video is actually really funny, and it's actually a highlight reel of him looking back on him being on YouTube for over 10 years and not being so active. So in honor of me somehow staying relevant on the internet for 10 years while lying about how often I upload videos and then just ghosting everybody with my channels frequently, uh, I've made a montage of my past decade on YouTube. What are you drinking, Dom? Energy beer. 
a full loco. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Dom. D to the O M. I'm Dom Zetti. Now let's get back to bro science, as that channel would actually stem a few collaborations between Dom Mazzetti and everyone's favorite YouTube drug dealer, Bradley Martin. The two would actually go on to make a channel together called Bros Versus. Similar to Dom Mazzetti Versus, this channel would feature the two trying various things, including vegan food, ninja warrior training courses, and even Pokemon Go when that shit was cool. Dom would play his typical nonsensical character while Brad would be his normal self, and it was hilarious to see the two interact. One common theme of many of his viewers and subscribers can see about Dom is the fact that he can get very bored and even sick of making the same content over and over and over again. This was actually the reason for the transition from the original regular Dom Mazzetti versus videos to bro science life videos that featured Dom in the gym. Then at times when Dom would get sick of the gym, he would just go collab with Bradley that would allow him to make videos on other things outside of the fitness industry, which was kind of smart because the fitness industry for a few years really boomed. And now a lot of those big fitness industry guys who are getting like millions of views on videos aren't anymore. So that's very smart of Dom or Mike. And by the way, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna keep calling him Dom or Mike. And that just shows that like it's such a parallel. His real name is Mike Tornabeni, but we all know him as Dom. And Mike, if you're watching this, which I surely hope you do, because I'm such a big fan, let me know if I miss anything below, if, I, if I'm you know messed up on anything. Mike's next interest actually found him making a Top Gear inspired YouTube car show called Nar PM. The show, according to Mike, is a how-to guide for doing gnarly shit in vehicles. One thing Dom mentions in this video that shows that this is such an interest to him is that he knows little to nothing about the car industry and is beyond infatuated by it. Just think about this for a second, guys. Mike has taught us how to party through Domazetti verses. He has taught us how to gym through bro signs. And now it is his time to learn about vehicles and having a gnarly ass time driving them. This series, which takes place on his personal channel, began its first season in late 2015 and its second season around 2018. Even though his production on YouTube in recent years has dropped quite significantly, no one, even the man himself, is sure about what the future holds for Mike Tornabeni, and especially for his career of YouTube online. In the past year, he has posted just 11 videos to entertain his over 2.5 million subscribers. And his latest video, Best Gym Thoughts, which was was posted around like a month ago has over a million views, 75,000 likes, and over 3,700 comments. Now hooking up with a chick from the gym can be a dangerous game. I don't want to shit where I eat, but I do want to eat where they shit. So if you're looking to eat ass while you gain mass, then you've come to the right place. There is no doubt that whenever Mike does post on his Bro Science Life channel, his loyal fans do show up and they show up like hell and they surely let him know in the comment section. In closing, I truly feel that Mike Tornabeni has just reached a point on YouTube where he is just sick and tired of the app. The guy has literally been making content for 10 plus years on this platform. How many big creators can even say that? I've seen countless of creators give up in half that time and even less because it's not easy staying relevant for that long and Dom has done that beautifully through his innovative content and collaborations with other popular creators. I personally started watching Dom Mazzetti videos back in freshman year of high school, and now I'm 24. Holy crap, where's the time going? We are getting old, guys. I've been with Dom this whole time, and let me just say, he's been with me through some of my most formative and, and actually awkward years, so thank you, Dom. Or Mike, I'm sorry. And once again, as a Jersey guy, I felt that he embodied that Jersey Shore D-bag so effortlessly, and he never failed to make me laugh. When he started making gym tutorial videos, he really did guide my transition into the lifting lifestyle and made it quite easy through his community nature and funny enough my counselor who I see like twice a month don't ask guys whatever she, she told me she's like yeah my 13 year old son you know he's uh, he's starting to lift whatever like do you have any advice for him I'm like honestly when I was his age I watched like bro science life tell him to watch all those I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing she might freaking strangle me but he is funny and Dom you're the reason I learned what not to do and what to do in the gym also I'm just really glad that I was able to find who Dom Mazzetti was before even thinking about starting to do CrossFit first off CrossFit is a class I should just stop there. At the end of the day, even though all of his fans, including myself, just want more content from Mike, we've gotten to a certain enough close point with him that we just want Mike to be generally happy in life. So, whether he's drifting supercars in the desert, 
making fun of people for using the Smith machine in the gym. The Smith machine is gym training wheels. Everybody's gotta start somewhere. When learning to ride a bike, there's no shame in using training wheels. But you don't bring your fucking training wheels to the X Games. The Smith machine looks like headgear for your body. There is no faster way to let everybody know that you're a breast milk drinking noob than dragging a bench all the way from the freeway area over to the Smith machine for your first exercise. Screwing with Bradley Martin out in public. Oh well, grass with straws here. You do something. You do something. Bro. Give, give, give him a line. Something. I, I don't. I think I there's a there. Guest starring in the Real Bros of Simi Valley. But yo, wait, you have the door situation on lock, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. The ushers are on it. What do you know here, Don? What do you know here? Molly. Nice, dude. I, I'm feeling like you would say Molly. Who do you know here, dog? www.whodoyouknowhere.com. Xander. Okay, got it. Come on. Yabba dabba, do yourself a favor and send that shit back to 1993, huh? Or just being himself. 100 bucks, five tries. Let's kick it. <laughs> We're all so genuinely proud of you. Dude, I mean, if you even never make another YouTube video again, just know that you have left an incredible legacy on YouTube as being one of the all time greats. You are truly an inspiration to me and millions upon millions of other people. If you like this video about the professor, be sure to smash the shit out of the like button. And be sure to let me know in the comments section below if you love his content as well, or if you have any other opinions on why he doesn't seem to care about YouTube that much anymore. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys could hit that sub button below because I'm finally starting to make these YouTube videos again after stopping for a few years, but work has been tough, but screw it, I'm starting this again. Let me know in the comments as well what other people I should talk about in these new videos. See you soon.